hello everyone i hope everything is great so today we will discuss the tables in html and also we have we we discuss some of the css on the tables so without wasting time let's start so just for saving the time i create one html file and also i create one external css and just write the basic structure of html file so first we discuss what is the table let me open the text editor here okay so basically by use of tables we can arrange the data into rows and columns we can say by use of tables we can arrange data into rows and columns okay so uh, today let me use the pent just for visualization so let's see this is my overall table container also i write here the exact term this is my table container then by use of these horizontal lines we can create the rows Okay, so these represent the table rows and by use of these vertical lines we denote the columns of the table. So these are the columns of table first column second column third column and these are the rows first row second row and third row we can add as much as want as we want the rows and also we can uh, add the multiple columns okay and at a specific point where a specific row and a specific column will meet that specific area is the table cell so let me give this name cell so this is my table cell okay and this cell actually contain the text or maybe some other components or it can also have internal table as well so we can say this cell actually contain the data data may be some type of text maybe some type of other tags like p tag div tag or it can be it can also take the table okay so this is my overall structure these horizontal line represent the row of table these vertical line represent the uh, columns of the table and intersection of a specific row and colon at a specific place will create the cell so we can say this table have three rows and three columns and nine cells and cells have the actual data okay now <clears throat> let's discuss how we represent these in the HTML so table will be represented with the table HTML tag with start and the close tag rows will be represented by the TR tag and full form of this is the table row also have the close row tag and TD is actually 
represented by the TD tag, start and closing tag. And cell is just for representation of the actual cell. It can have any of the HTML tag or a simple text. Okay. So let's move to the HTML file and create this. So initially we have the blank. Let me add one heading here. Okay, so for creating any table, we use the table container tag, start and closing. <clears throat> then we have the TR tag, which represents the row. There can be multiple rows. So if we want to create multiple rows, then we need to create multiple TR tags. And in a row, there can be multiple columns. Let's say this is my first column. This is my second column. And this is my third column. And same way, <coughs> we have the data here. Okay, let's add some data here. <coughs> Let me add the A and the email here. And in the third column, add some number. Same way, name of the user, their email, and in last, let's say some phone number. Save this file, go to browser and refresh. Now you can see, <clears throat> first we have the username, then their email and then phone number. Then in second row, we represent the username, email and the number. But without the borders, it's not look like as a table. As we show in the paint, this will create a structure of table like so we can add the borders on this table as well by using the border property of CSS we can apply the borders on table if you did not watch the uh, my earlier video that is based on the borders you can check it uh, I will just provide the link in the description share uh, section. You can go to in the description and simply check the uh, video on the borders so that you have the basic idea of border, how we can customize the border and all of these related information. For now, <clears throat> I go to the external CSS, add the selected table and add the border for this one pixel solid and by default color is black refresh and you can see the border is added here same way we need to add the border for the columns td so if you want to select multiple elements then you can separate it with the comma so now this border will be reflected on table and as well as on the columns. Let me save this, refresh this and now you can see there is a table border and there is a specific border on the columns. Okay, now there is one another property of border which is border collapse and we give the value as a collapse. You can see this will create two borders so by use of this property we can collapse these border and now this will look a uh, same as we have here as we created in the paint this will table and there is a uh, these user data okay now there is a case we want to add the heading for this table like this uh, will represent the username this will represent the 
email and this will represent the phone number of the user so how we can do this for creating the headings in HTML we have a separate tag for headings we have the separate element which we call the table heading start tag and with the end tag so by this way we can add the headings on table let's use this in our table first we need to create the heading row by using the same tag tr tag instead of using now the td we use the table heading table user name second heading will be the email and third heading will be the phone number okay let me save this go to browser and refresh this okay so now this uh, all the columns have their heading username email and phone but border is missing why because we are not adding the border for the table heading we just need to uh, go to the css section and add the same css for the th tag as well save this go to browser refresh now you can see this will have a great visualization of end table now just point this thing that by default table heading text will be in the center and also in the bold so this is the default setting we can change this thing we can change this thing by using the css but this is the default view of our table so this way we can represent a html table we can add multiple rows we can add multiple columns as we want okay so this is the basic structure of the html tables so for this video i think that's it in next video we discuss the more properties of tables and we customize more on these tables for now that's it if you like this video you can subscribe my channel so can so you can easily access my latest videos for now thanks thanks guys